Hello. This video is about the Autory 2 automatic test and calibration system that keeps your monitors accurate, workers safe, and facility in compliance. In this video, we're going to review the setup of an Autory 2 cradle for deployment in standalone mode. And the Autory 2 cradle that we're going to look at is for multi ray pumped instruments. Before you start the setup process, please make sure to review the user's manual. The setup process is very simple. All you need to do is to attach the end caps to the cradle, fix them with the screws, then power the system and connect calibration gas. It's that easy. There are two end caps that are used when the station is deployed in a standalone mode. These two end caps are not used when the cradle is deployed as part of a controller base system. So first install the left end cap or the right end cap as you please. The left end cap just snaps in and it's good to go. The right end cap actually snaps in and it also needs to be secured by the screws. And then cover them with screw end caps. That's all it takes to really assemble the cradle for a standalone deployment. Please notice that there is an external filter that's already pre-installed on the cradle. We're providing three extra external filters for free, but please make sure that you use the cradle with an external filter at all times. Next thing to do is to power the system up. So there is an AC adapter that comes in the box with interchangeable international prongs. I'm in the US right now, so I'm using the US plug. So the AC adapter barrel goes into the AC adapter opening here, and then I just plug it in, and then the system initializes automatically. Next thing to do is to connect calibration gas. Standalone cradle has two dedicated gas inlets, gas one and gas two, and an exhaust port. The beauty of the Autory 2 is that the inlets are configurable, and you can set them up to match the configuration of your multi-ray. The default configuration for the inlets on the Autory 2 cradle is to support the basic configuration of the multi-ray, which includes the PID, CO, H2S, O2, and LEL sensors. Gas inlet one is configured for a four gas mix that is used to calibrate the four sensors, CO, H2S, O2, and LEL. And the second inlet is configured for isobutylene that's used to calibrate the PID system. It is critically important to make sure that if your multi-ray has exotic sensors in it, you configure the inlets to match the calibration gas that you're going to use for these exotic sensors. The inlets can be configured on a PC using the ProRay Studio 2 software. You have to have version 1.5 or higher. There is a PC communications cable that should be used to connect the Autoray 2 cradle to the computer. Once you're done configuring the inlets, make sure to connect the right calibration gas to the right inlet. So for my multi-ray, that's a standard configuration multi-ray, I'm going to use the default configuration of the inlets. I'm not going to change it. So I'm going to connect the four gas mix to the first inlet. And then I will connect isobutylene to the second inlet. Please note that it is required that demand flow regulators be used in all cases whenever you're using the Autory 2, regardless of the Autory 2 configuration. We always require that whenever you use a gas to calibrate the PID sensor, you use Teflon tubing with that gas. So now the system is ready for use. All you need to do is make sure that your multi-ray has compatible firmware in it so that it can be recognized by the Autory 2 and that firmware is application firmware version 1.10 or higher and sensor firmware 1.03 or higher. And then your multi-ray needs to be either turned off or it needs to be turned on and put into the Autory 2 communications mode. So this multi-ray is turned off so I just put it in the cradle 
lock the instrument in place and the system would pick it up automatically and start the warm-up process like it is doing right now. So the lights are flashing and then the charging light is also lit up to show that charging is actually in process. Once the warm-up process completes, both the LED lights for bump and cal are going to go green and the system is ready for use. Thank you for watching.